Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at the Vans Aircraft RV7, which we also looked at a few videos back. One of the changes in this new version is the additional livery, which you can see here. So let's select this one and then select an airport, uh, which we're gonna, I'd say, depart from. Uh, what shall we do? Oh, well, let's pick the Rapid City uh, Regional and let's hit fly. So what are the other things they changed while the video or while the airport is loading? They improved the 3D model, they updated the ambient uh, occlusion, updated the windshield texture, uh, removed the gear warning, right? That's the one I sh showed you in the previous video where the gear warning was, let's say, burning while we were still on the ground. Uh, they exchanged the UV map, exchanged the prop colors, adjust the flight performance, add wing rivets, add the trim indicator, add interior details, add new blue livery, that's the one we just saw, and also a livery template. So if you want to create your own livery for this aircraft, that's now also possible. Simply download it from Flight Sim.2 and you will find the uh, paint kit in it and then you can paint the aircraft your own color and of course don't forget to distribute that using simbrief or simbrief flightsim.2 too busy with simbrief nowadays right so that's cool so if we look at the uh, things which have changed uh, so here you will find the trim indicator right so the trim indicator uh, now shows up and down and you can see if i'm uh, moving my uh let's say moving not moving i'm turning my uh, button on my joystick it will change but of course you can also uh, do it like this but, yeah, <laughs> the weird thing is that it doesn't work with this one so I'm using my joystick then it works so I'm setting it back to stable position so that's okay so let's see if we can spot some other things which have changed because they also say said they made some interior details it looks like that this I would say dashboard has changed uh, Besides that, yeah, the aircraft, I would say it looks fantastic. I really love it already. Um, let's go to the outside. Look at the uh, wing rivets. You can see that there are some wing changes here. Maybe they... That's cool, right? So that's nice. Uh, they updated the windshield texture and updated the ambient occlusion and they improved the 3D model. Well, the 3D model looks good and the wing or the glass around the cockpit also looks pretty cool. Oh, an hour too low. So <laughs> let me go back to the back of the aircraft <laughs> and then start from here. Uh, so a lot of changes, right? So that's cool. Uh, they also changed the flight performance, so that's of course something we need to try. So uh, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, besides that, they also updated the core of the uh, propeller, so maybe we should stop the engine in that case because else we can't see it probably. So we're gonna stop the engine, and here you will see the colors have now been changing. So this is nice and shiny, and this is a little bit more, I would say, well, less shiny, <laughs> but you can see it clearly. So we're gonna start the engine again. making a little bit weird sound so fingers crossed the engine will start and also I might think that we might find something but as you can see here it doesn't do much yet so let's hit ctrl e again If you hear something, I don't hear anything anymore for some reason. So let's see if we can fly away in that case. But it makes sense that it doesn't do it because it's not shown here. So cool. So let's see if we can start the engine. Ah, come on, what was it? We probably are forgetting something, right? So that's one of the things, right? The control E key doesn't work yet. So be aware of that. Uh, this is all set correct. This is all set correct. 
there was nothing with this aircraft where we needed to shut off. I don't think that this is the issue, but let's see. Or was it? No. Now I'm really, really puzzled. <laughs> ah, I'm missing something. That's something I really hate, right? If I can't find it. Uh, fuel pump. Probably shouldn't have, I would say. Shouldn't have stopped the engine. Yeah, I did something which is not good. Ah, come on, guys. What did I do? Guys and girls, right? Always need to be careful with that. So it says low volts, so it probably has to do something with electricity. Well, to prevent that were... To prevent that this will be a long video, I'll simply hit restart, right? I'm simply, I would say, cheating a bit to start the engine again. So here we go again, so I'm not gonna touch the engine as we speak. So you're gonna remove the parking brakes and gonna go full throttle. So it has, they changed the performance of the aircraft. So let's see what has changed. Maybe it's really hard to figure out, but. So we're going airborne right now, as we can, as you can see. So we can now change the uh, trim up and down, right? You need to always be careful with trim. Always keep an eye or keep your uh, joystick a little bit back to prevent that it's that you will say fly into the ground now it should be upright so now we should climb a bit so let's see if it works if it doesn't work then we probably need to change it a bit more now here it goes always watch out right because it says terrain so you're very close to the terrain Middle marker. Generic two four Yankee. Follow the aircraft on final. Wind one four three at one four. Clear to land. So they runway. changed uh, the performance of the uh, aircraft. Clear to land one four generic so two four Yankee. Let's raise the gears, which we can't do. <laughs> because I almost forgot this aircraft we can't raise the gears right but there was a warning that you should raise the gears so I'd say trim works nicely and uh, I would say it's really useful that they now have added a display which you can see easily uh, what kind of trim stages the aircraft is in so that's really cool Of course, it's also using the uh, Garmin uh, G1000 NXI if you install the NXI one. Uh, I just posted another video about that because it also received an update. Uh, I'm not going to show all the changes uh, uh, which they made in there. So watch that other video also if you are interested in that. Um, so other than that, what they, did they change? Well, the 3D model, yeah. What I would say, the aircraft already looked fantastic, right? The first release, I was already impressed a lot with this release of this aircraft which is still on the development right so keep that in mind so it still flies nicely uh, just like previously it looks really nice they add some nice details they add some nice functionalities which i really like uh, so 
can easily, I would say, watch, and you can see still see the high detail uh, being shown here, also on the back right. It says experimental, so they made us aware that it's an experimental uh, flight or aircraft. Sorry. So here ends this short video about the new version of the uh, Vans RV7. Almost forgot the name. It was released uh, yesterday. It's now version 101 and includes a paint kit, a new livery and some nice enhancements to the interior and also to the exterior and a nice, uh, I would say, trim functionality, uh, which is now can be shown here, right? So, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.